has now dropped former Baltimore Ravens running back Ray Rice from its Madden NFL 15 video game. Well, Rice was fired by the Ravens and suspended by the NFL after video surfaced of him knocking out his then fiance in an elevator. But today, his now wife lashed out at the media over this growing scandal. She writes on our Instagram that coverage of the story has forced the couple to relive a moment in their lives that they regret every day. And she apparently intends to stand by her man, writing that they will continue to grow and show the world what real love is. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa joins us now with more on violent relationships. She spoke to an expert earlier today. Jocelyn. Well, Keith, and this story has placed domestic violence dead center of the national consciousness. From social media sites to radio and television, it has unleashed a heightened awareness of domestic abuse like no other in recent years. Fanning the controversy, a post on Instagram by Janae Rice, defending husband recently fired Baltimore Raven Ray Rice. And I'm quoting now. I woke up this morning feeling like I had a horrible nightmare, she wrote. To make us relive a moment in our lives that we regret every day is a horrible thing. Most of the time, they do want to defend the abuser. Deborah Greenwood heads up the Center for Family Justice, a nonprofit domestic violence agency in Bridgeport. Women will stay in a situation for financial reasons. They will stay, again, because they're in denial. They will stay because they're in love, um, whether there's children involved in this scenario. The longtime family advocate says the video of what happened inside an Atlantic City elevator is a telltale sign of what is to come. This would be something we would say to someone that would walk through our doors here at the Center for Family Justice. We need to put you in a safe place. It needs to happen right now. When to seek help and leave is up to the victim to decide. They usually identify themselves and they'll feel very unsafe and they feel their life's in danger. Thank you for calling the Center for Family Justice. How may I direct your call? The number of calls and walk-ins here. If you would like information on how to come in as a walk-in. Has escalated in the last two days. Advocates across the country that would look at that saying, how can we help you? Please reach out to us. Call our hotline. While more women are abused, men are also victims in domestic cases. 24-hour hotline numbers are available. The number for the Center for Family Justice is 203-384-9559. Again, that's 203-384-9559. Of course, also log on to our website, WTNH.com. Jocelyn, it's interesting. She mentioned if the couple has children. Do you know if Ray Rice and his wife have a child? Well, we uh, we think they're, they're, they they have one child, mm -hmm. and they may have had the ba the child before they were married. Okay, interesting. Thank you, Jocelyn. Jocelyn thank you.